Yum, yum! Hey, this is Yezza Malkash from Pixel Fondue, and this is a follow-up video on the Hexagon Array video. I want to show you some of the things that you're able to do inside of the schematics uh, for procedural operations. And uh, these are just helpful things that you could use it w along with the grid uh, tools that we've kind of uh, gone over last time. And I just thought this is something that you would uh, be interested in. So in this case, what I wanted to do was increase the border between every single hexagon. And obviously, I have the majority of the math done earlier. And now it's uh, something that I can do pretty easily to get a tool similar to this, basically. So I want a uniform spacing between my hexagons um, to kind of happen uh, at will. So uh, to do that, we've added a bunch of uh, nodes. And we're going to go over how to prep this for the next step. So to get started, we're going to think about how do we add spacing to all these elements. And there's a couple of things that we have to add spacing to, one being the array generator and then one being the linear generator. Linear generator basically talking about just this guy and this guy, and then the linear one talking about each group of these being offset both in the x and the y. Um, to make this simple, I'm going to add a number of different add nodes. So I know I'm going to add uh, a single value to every one of those um, channels. So basically, I'm just grabbing it, uh, an add node, and control D to duplicate each one. And then what I'm going to do is uh, I also know that I duplicate this one right here. I know I'm going to have a specific value I want to control. I'm going to put this inside of a multiply node. This is kind of how I personally at least keep a constant value for myself. I'm going to set this to 0 0.01. That's about 10 millimeters. And this is basically where I'm going to keep my value, the, 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 the changing value that I need to, to change, which is the distance of the border between them. Um, then I'm going to start hooking this stuff up. So let's start off with, uh, first of all, the value. We're going to dig that into each one of these. So I'll put those right there. Ooh, not here, right there. And then we're going to grab these guys and just put them in there. Oops. There we go. So you're going to see stuff break, which is fine. Don't freak out. At least not too much. All right. So provided if I actually set this to zero, we should be back to normal, right? That's back to normal. Uh, now, obviously, at 0 0.01, this doesn't look like it's functioning in the right manner. And the reason is, the, again, the distance of the hexagons is not as simple. Um, this To get this to be 10 millimeters or this to be 10 millimeters is definitely different if each one from the other. And you need to be aware of that when you're doing the math. And you can see here kind of this breaks down um, in a non-correct uh, manner, both uh, vertically and horizontally, and I need to fix that. Uh, to do that, we're going to add a, just two more nodes, which is a multiply. And I'm going to duplicate this one. It's an easy trick. You just duplicate that and just change that to divide. Uh, now, one will be multiplied by two, and the other one is divided by two. You've seen kind of from the other uh, aspects here that we have multiplications by two uh, times two or divided by two. It's the same principle. Um, the values of the hexagon uh, need to be either multiplied or divided by that to get it to correct to be correct. So, for example, this clone right here is going off higher than I would expect it to. What I actually needed to be going is not to not from here to here, but from here to here, and I want basically half the value. So I'm going to grab this value right here, divide it by two. I'm going to plug that here, which um, Oops, not, not, here, not here. I'm going to put that right over here. So this way, it's now stuck in the middle. That looks great. That works fine. All right, well, what about this one? Well, in this case, I actually want to push that off more, and I think it's going to be double the value. So I'm going to, again, um, grab this guy here, multiply him by 2, and this one's going to go into the x factor. And now I have a uniformly spaced out hexagon grid that I'm able to control, again, via just that one channel. And just to make things, well, first of all, let's test it and make sure we didn't miss anything. Ooh, here we go. That looks pretty fancy. Um, let's add another channel handle. We'll just move this guy out of the way so that we have control over him. 
And I think the control over it is fine. And we'll go back to this guy, this guy, channel, right click, assign handle, select assign. And now we should be able to select that guy and select this guy. And let's add one more thing that controls the actual, um, let's gonna add one more channel handle. We want this one to control basically um, the scale. And maybe actually flip them. So we're gonna actually keep, let's do display. I want to, let's see if there's something that makes more sense than this. One point five. Let's do a one point five. What we're gonna do is actually take this one. Wait, which one did I make bigger? No, let's keep that at one. So I'm gonna keep the new one at one. We're gonna keep this one at one point five, and we're also gonna push it back ever so slightly, and you'll see why in a second. And now we're going to grab the radius and. Go to channels, right click, assign handle, and this will be assigned to the new channel handle. So the new channel handle, which is the front one, will control the scale and the back one, the spacing. And then this one, X, and this one whoop, is Y. And now we have a full um, kind of rig for hexagon control and we're gonna... Yum, yum!